Hey out there, it's your boy Gadget Fox coming to you yet with another video. Just as always, a reminder, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It always helps out the channel. But any case, you're all familiar with the ROG Ally gaming handset that has recently been released. Let me tell you, I've been enjoying it. This thing has really been a game changer for handheld sets. Now, I've been playing around with different ways to enjoy it, and I want to bring you this product here, the Warki Docking Station. Originally, this thing was meant for the Steam Deck, but designers have really not gotten a chance to bring out any new products, but it doesn't matter. This thing works flawlessly with the ROG Ally, and I want to show it to you and give you some ideas on how this is really a game changing device. It has the ability to have a power delivery of 100 watts, it's 4K 60 Hz, USB 3.0 by 5 gigabytes per second. It can support up to three Bluetooth devices. So it's just going to be your Bluetooth controller, your keyboard, and your mouse. And then if you don't want to use wireless, it has the RJ45 that has a 1 gigahertz ca capability. On the bottom of the docking station, the USB cable is conveniently stored and wrapped, looped into the docking station itself, making it easy to store away when not in use. Around back, you have the USB-C power delivery 100 watts. That's going to conveniently power the docking station and keep your ally at 100 watts. You have three USB type A's, 3.0's, and then you have the HDMI 2.1. And if you prefer not to use the wireless capabilities of your Ally, then of course you can use the Ethernet and it supports one gig transfer speed. I've got to give some big prop to ASUS for providing at least this no frills docking station. It's a cool accessory to add, but the docking station I'm showing you is definitely a lot better because of course of the features. And you can see it conveniently fits very well, even though it was made for the, the Steam Deck. It pretty much has the, the Ally, pretty much shares the same dimensions as the Steam Deck, and the USB securely fits right on the top of the device as you see in front of you. Around back, you can see how easy it is to access any of the ports in the back of the docking station. It's really simple to operate. I'm going to try and focus this as best as I can, but as you can see, I already have two USB ports occupied, and that's my mouse and my keyboard. The PD from the actual power adapter is already connected, and if I can really get a focus, my best is cable is getting away, but you can see that the HDMI 2.0 is also plugged to my monitor. Now, if you're not familiar with the ROG Ally, it is pretty much a mini computer. It's a Windows-based computer, so you can do anything normal like search the internet, check any of your email accounts, things of that nature, because that's what's different from the Steam Deck versus the ROG ROG. It is pretty much a mini computer that is handheld and can travel with you wherever you wish it to go with you. Now, the primary purpose, of course, of the ROG Ally was to game portably. But as I'm showing you with the docking station, and I know of a lot of you are playing this game, Doom 4 just recently came out, and I've been having a blast, not only because of the game, but also being able to have it handheld and also include it into a docking station. You see here, I've got my mouse, and then I've also got a Logitech uh, keyboard attached to it right here. And because it was windowed base, all I had to do is just put the two USB uh, connections in the back and Windows recognized it. And with no problem, I was able to just go ahead, dock the Ally in and play Doom uh, 4. So, and if you're a Bluetooth type of person that wants to use your uh, Bluetooth controller, the Microsoft Xbox controller pairs easily with the device. 